Hey guys, Tesla Tim here, and we're gonna go outside and take a peek at the Model X. Uh, we're taking it in for service tomorrow. It is freaking cold outside and snowing, but uh, we have a couple issues going on with the Model X, and um, I kind of wanted to record it and throw it up on YouTube so you guys can see it. Um, I never bash Tesla whatsoever. I love both my S and my X, but the X has been having some issues, and uh, it'd be good to kind of do a video so you guys can see what issues I'm having. That way, uh, you know, when you buy an X, maybe you might encounter these or not. So let's get rolling. It's really snowy out here. And then tomorrow we gotta drive the X all the way to Toronto. We live in Buffalo. And I uh, gotta drive to Toronto to get it fixed. And I'm hoping they give us a, a good rental car. I wouldn't mind a, an S, but uh, I'd rather have an X in, as a rental or um, a loaner car. So what's going on with Megatron, huh? So uh, something that happened just recently is somebody in a parking lot ran into Megatron. Luckily, it didn't hurt. It obviously hurt Megatron. It busted this plastic piece right here that goes around, but um, it didn't hurt any of the metal at all. So hoping they can replace this at Tesla and then uh, my insurance company said they would take care of that bill. So no big deal there. That does suck though, it pissed me off. All right, so we actually just updated um, Megatron to the latest version. I think it's uh, 50.2. Let's go into take inside here. Let's take a peek. I think it's, uh, this. 50.2 cover my VIN number so you guys can't get it get a hold of it Not sure what you would do if you did have it, but anyways, so it's a uh, 2017 50.2 and um, Since that update I've been having this weird error message uh, Not the Falcon wing door. It's another issue limited AC battery and cooling No idea what it is the car drives drove like normal and uh it was just an annoying error, and I did contact Tesla, and they're like, oh, you're gonna bring it in for service, we'll take a look at it then. No big deal. So we were driving the Tesla in the winter, and everything was going perfect, and next thing you know, you can see, the Falcon Wing door will not close itself. So if you kinda look at the door here, see how it's flimsy? So if I tried to go in here, and uh, let me close this up. Sorry, and we go into our controls. If I tried to close it, it doesn't close. So, uh, so you know, as a regular person, you'd like well, maybe something's blocking it, or maybe there's something wrong with the mechanism. So I opened it all the way. Reclosed it, closed it with the key fob, made sure everything in the way, even up and up and top here, everything was all clear. And it still wouldn't close. That we you know, we were getting like negative um, degree temperatures here in Buffalo. This is pretty nasty outside. I thought maybe something got frozen in there, but I know that Bjorn lives in Norway. He gets super cold there and never really has a problem with his his um, wings closing. But I took a blow dryer and I kind of blew the mechanism you know, out a little bit, heated it up, still wouldn't close. So that's what you have, like, so I'm talking to Tesla about it and they can't do anything about it, they said bring it in. So I'm gonna have to drive my Model X in the winter with snow blowing with this gap here. And you know, snow is gonna come right in here. Let's take a peek at it when the door's closed. That's what you got. So you know the snow is going to come right through here and go inside. So I'm kind of worried about it. I did talk to one of my main service guy in the Toronto location said it's okay to do it. So, And the most annoying thing is going to be is that we're going to actually hear beeping the whole time we're driving. So that's the first time I've ever had any problems with the wing at all. And to top it off, I figured 
Um, I maybe opened it all the way when we got in the garage when it happened. And obviously, if you look at my garage, we have like, you know, the garage door opener and then you, know, you have this here. The garage door was actually open at the time. So when the wing opened up, normally it'll detect the garage door and it'll stop. Well, there's something going on with the door itself, so it opened up into the door. So I thought for sure I damaged the door at that point, but no, it didn't. And there's no dent in the door, no dent in my garage door, so everything's all good. So I'm not touching it anymore. If I'm going to open it, I'll open it outside. And I'm kind of afraid to do anything right with it right now. It's kind of scary. So, I mean, that's basically it. So, Falcon Wing door issue. We had the weird service um, error message. Um, I got to get that back thing replaced again. I'll show it to you again. Right there. And then we're having a weird issue. And I think I... Let's go back the other direction. I showed it to you in one of my other videos. Because I think I did a first service call with the Model X. I never really got truly fixed. So, right here. I'll take this out. Now let's watch this and see when it closes. It won't close all the way. Yeah, see it? It's open a little bit. And if I don't remember to close it all the way, if I leave it parked outside at my like in-laws house or from shopping, I leave it parked outside and it's snowing, snow gathers up in here or water or rain, and then it'll freeze. And it'll freeze up inside of here. And that's something obviously we don't want that to happen. So. Really weird. All right, let's go see if it closes itself again. Let's go ahead and just plug it. We'll plug in, and then we'll unplug again. We'll give it some time. Yeah, so it's not closing all the way, which is concerning me. And see, now it's open. I just opened it kind of manually. And obviously, the, the if you don't see any charge light on here at all, do not try to put this in there. It's not going to go in. It needs to, it needs to actual pop itself open and kind of initialize the charge port. Now you're good to go. All right, so that's one of the other concerns. We had, we had an issue with uh, our leather seats before having... Um, holes in them and When we first bought the car like somebody took razor blades and cut some slices in there So and they fixed the one on here. They fixed uh, actually the one in the back. They fixed really well You can't even see anything going on there, but whatever they did and see if you can see yeah, you guys can see it here, right? So here we keep these really clean. You can see it's really white nice and clean but If you look back here now They fixed the hole in here, but they must have sprayed some junk on here whatever kind of spray they did to seal it and that is collecting dirt, and no matter what we do, we cannot get that off of there. So you can see on both sides, it kind of oversprayed and makes this nasty looking. So they're actually going to replace both these these things here. I guess they're, not that they're rare, but you know, it took a long time for them to get those in-house. So those are both getting replaced. So I'm going to roll a video after the everything's all said and done, and, and uh, hopefully I fixed everything, and we'll go through Megatron again and give you a little update on what's going on there is another update available but it actually won't work so let's say if I was gonna go ahead and run this ready let's go ahead and install now Falcon Wing door is open please close and tap the clock icon at the top of the screen and reschedule or reach try installing so I can't install the update I figured I'd come out here and try installing the update maybe that would fix the Falcon Wing door maybe something happened calibration wise but it's all didn't start happening until that last update that we just ran through. We got the weird limited AC battery cooling and then we have the Falkling door not closing on us, for us. All right guys, so that's our video. I haven't made a bunch lately. I've been really busy. New Year 2018 here, coming soon. Uh, I'm gonna create a bunch of videos. I have a actual the Richmond, Virginia video and the Florida video that I'm editing, but this has been really busy with programming and my life in general, but uh, so Megatron, Tomorrow we're going to Toronto. Tomorrow is um, the third of January, and we're gonna, it's about a two-hour ride. And it's going to be beeping the whole way. Uh, maybe I'll roll, roll some film on that too, so you guys can see that. But uh, 
I'll let you know after the fact uh, if they get everything fixed for me and uh, that way you guys can kind of see you know make your decision on the X or the S going forward I've never had I haven't knocked on wood I haven't had any issues with my S my S has been rock solid it's version 1 it's uh, 2016 this is a 2017 um, it's actually uh, knock on wood Phoenix has been really good to me um, this guy here has had some problems and uh, hopefully get them resolved. So, uh, all right, guys, until our next video, peace. We'll see you.